So Hello, can I get you to introduce yourself and um, which organisation you represent? Okay. Uh, my name is uh, Vinod Kotecha and I work for, um, I'm a project manager and I work for Confederation of Indian Organisations, UK. And what were your expectations before you came on the asset-based thinking and doing course? Uh, when I came and joined the project, uh, I, when I looked at the course, I think it was very interesting. There's a lot of things to learn. Um, I was thinking at looking at my project inwardly to see what are the strengths, what are the weaknesses, what are the opportunities and what are the threats for the project and develop a project from there. That was my expectation. But when I came, I was very nervous. I was very apprehensive. I was fearful as well because I was from the volunteer sector. Only a few of us were from the volunteer sector and most of them were from the county hall and statutory agency. So there was a little bit of uh, fear there and I was worried whether I would be able to contribute toward the debate or discussion or not or whether I, I'll be able to free, uh, get frozen, you know, I won't be able to contribute. Uh, so that was the fear in the beginning. But as the project and the course developed, uh, it was the fear has gone. I got more confident and was quite uh, able to contribute and learn from the course itself. So what did you learn along the way and what do you think has been the most useful? I learned about the asset-based thinking, uh, what is possible and what can be achieved. Uh, everything, won't be, uh, everything won't be possible, but there will be challenges as well. So it's, 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 it's easy to agree that there will be challenges as well. Everything won't be as simple as that. And to look at uh, what are the opportunities, again, what are the resources available from others, other, other partners, you know, and use them in the best way uh, to make our project a successful project. So can you tell me a little bit about your organisation and what changes you've made in the way you work or in your daily life as a result of coming on the sessions? Why, my project, uh, Confederation of Indian Organization, is one of the 16 partners of Less Aging Together. We provide uh, 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 services for elderly people, mainly from ethnic minority in the Belgrade ward, and we make sure that the people who are suffering isolation and depression come out of the home and come and join our activities. So my main idea was to find out the best resources I can get it from my partners to help this project further. Uh, our funding is going to come to an end uh, in the next 12 months, and there won't be any further funding, so I'll look at the other partners and what resources are available there already, so we can use best use of that resources in partnership working, <coughs> in co-production, to make sure that uh, the funding continues and the project continues as well. So this was a very right project at the right time for me to learn about ABCD project. Okay, and what, what difference do you think this has made to your daily life? It made it uh, quite easy because what I thought, uh, because I'm running this project for almost 20 years, my committee is much, very much dependent on me. Everything literally I do for them. Uh, so my main aim was to ask the committee to take some more responsibilities, you know. So it was very difficult for me in the first instant because it was a big ego for the committee members who will be there on the committee for almost 20 years to tell them to go on a training. But what I did was uh, took uh, my chairman my confidence and talked to him that this is very good for them to learn the different responsibilities and the roles of the committee members. And he agreed to talk to the committee and they agreed to take on the course. So they allowed me to go to talk to Voluntary Action Leicester to find out a, a training course which is suitable for them. And they, they went on the course and it made my life much easier because most of the time I was under a lot of pressure, a lot of stress. Because I had to look for the funding myself, I had to run the project and I had to do the evaluation and monitoring of the project as well. So there's quite a lot for a one and a half staff, myself and my secretary. So when I realised and when they realised that this is very good for them to take the responsibility on their hand, it, it became life very easy for me. Uh, we did the, they did the skill audit and they found out there were members on the committee who had a very, very knowledgeable and skillful which can contribute. So this uh, bringing a lot of resources to the committee and the project without any monetary resources, which was excellent. And then we tried to identify new members to come into the committee. So bring the new blood and new vision to the project. So this was very, very interesting and very useful project for me personally, but for the project itself. So we started the course back in February. 
Um, can you tell us something about the practical steps that you applied um, through the months since then? Right, we only started the project. Uh, every week we had a different things to learn, every course, the three different courses which we attended. And we started to prepare an excellent plan. I went to my committee and said, this is what we need to do. And with the help of the chairman and the help with the voluntary Excel Lester, we prepared an excellent plan, which we followed through for the last three sessions, you know, and produced an excellent plan, which is be used now and used annually in the future as well. Will you continue to use what you've learned in the future? And um, what will you continue to do? And is there anything new that you think you will do as a result of this? Yes, I think the course is very useful and uh, the training which we did for the management committee was excellent. Uh, they learned about their different roles and uh, they found about their skills and the knowledge they had which can benefit the project. So I would like to make this as an annual event so the training can be repeated every year and the new members who join the committee will have the benefit of learning the skills and contributing. And not only that, but uh, the other partners who were on the course from the statutory agency, from city council, from county council, uh, are, are great assets there. You know, there are a lot of resources which we can tap into without any monetary uh, requirement, you know. And this is the best part of it because the funding for the voluntary sector is the biggest challenge. And this can reduce quite drastically. And I think we can continue to provide the services which we are continuing now without additional financial services, but by using other resources which are there. For example, transport is one of them.